All right, hello everyone, and today we'll be doing Toshi Seed Story in Dynasty Warrior Six. Uh, right. But before we do that, there's something I noted about Zhang Hei's uh, like introductory paragraph here that I forgot to mention in the last video. Uh, let's see, a graceful warrior who values the aesthetic beauty of battle above all else. His lithe, balletic movements belie his true deadliness. <laughs> I love that descript there. And also, I didn't know balletic was a word <laughs> until I saw it here. If I, if someone had told me that in, like, normal conversation, I would assume they made that word up. <laughs> Anyways, on to Taishi Tzu. Twilight of the later Han Dynasty. Led by Zhang Jiao, the religious movement known as the Way of Peace rose in rebellion against the corrupt imperial government. In response, the imperial court sent out pleas for help across the land. Ironically, it was this call to quell the rebellion that would lead to even greater times of turmoil. Tai Shi Tsi of Qing, an officer serving out his debt to Kong Rong, took part in subjugating the Yellow Turban forces. Waiting for him, there was a man known as the Little Conqueror, who would forever change Tai Chi Tzu's destiny. I will end this disturbance and repay my debt to you. I am relieved to hear it. I look forward to seeing you in battle. Don't make me laugh. Is that all you are worth? <clears throat> the only reason I don't strike you down here is because of this debt. <laughs> Attacking from behind, you coward. I'm ready to fight, but it looks like now I won't even get the chance. I am Tai Chi Tsi, and who might you be? The name's Sun Tse. You're pretty handy with those. I'd like to see you in battle. You have no idea if he's handy with them or not. He hasn't swung them. Also, I like how Tai Chi Tzu was just like, I would kill you if not for this circumstance, this debt, whatever he's talking about. Another character without Flash. Great. I love that. That's going to be super fun to play again. Ugh. At least it has a lightning element. That's not terrible. I do like that his skill tree is just his clubs. It was still his clubs in original Dash Warrior 6 as well, despite him using a spear. And yeah, this is just regular Yellow Turban Rebellion. So nothing new here, really. Except Susan Say is on the map, I guess. I don't believe he's on the map normally. I think it's just Soon Jian and uh, Huang Gai normally. Zhang Zhao must be punished for causing this rebellion. One force go east, the other west. We will punish the enemy between us. I remember Touchy Seed's moveset being okay in this. Doesn't feel the same without his. Charge four, where he just sends someone flying. Oh, he definitely has his worst voice actor in this game, though. 
It's the guy that plays, uh... Nagamasa in Warriors Dark 1 and 2. And I believe you a Jin in Dance Warriors 8. Ah, full Rimbu. Nice. Which one of these is mine? Three white horses. I think this voice worked for you again. Not so much for Taishi C, a very big, gruff guy. These triangle ring. Simple enough. Running dash. Or running triangle, running square. Jump triangle. And hold triangle. The square grab. He <laughs> just shoves someone and then launches them. The shove is honestly really unnecessary. And let's see his triangle one. Just impales them with the rods. Uh, hello, Omega Surge. I will repay your efforts by working as hard myself. Look, it is the great sage, Master Zheng Zhao himself. Forward. It looks so much more grainy in PS2. It's longer to load back into the battle, too. By demolishing the enemy's camp, we'll crush their spirits as well. <laughs> Grandier than the fourth MGS game. You mean Metal Gear Solid 4? I remember that being grainy, but I don't recall it very well. It's been a while since I played that. I was never that big in the Metal Gear Solid. Let's see his Muso. It's a bunch of ground pounds. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do a lot of pounding in this. Good work. Now you've got me excited too. At least it's not as bright as the PS3 version. Yeah, I guess so. They did go over overboard with the bloom in the PS3. Well, Thunder is not as effective as Flash, it does deal with percentage damage, so having that element on would be good. Taishi T is not working for Soon Gian, he's working for Kong Rong. They just happen to be fighting on the same side for this. Though I'm not sure if Taishi T actually fought in the Yellow Turban Rebellion. 
Because I believe this is the only game this actually happens. They still remembered to include uh, some extra dialogue for this. Not much about this stage really, like, requires anything of the player. I guess that line triggers when you're, like, halfway through the stage. Considering I was next to Sunsei at the start, so it's not just from getting close to Sunsei. Hello, Raphael. His triangle of combo isn't really that great. It has really short range. Just due to how he swings his, his rods. The enemy kind of needs to be right in front of him. That's a deadlock grab, which is okay, I guess. stats are pretty good, if nothing else. Like, I'm dealing a decent amount of damage to enemies, despite not even having Flash. You see before you the new age of the yellow turbans. This one is amazing! I've got to be like that! Of course I get on the horse and then an officer walks up to me. Really grab some health somewhere. Kong Rong is on the battlefield? No, I didn't. I said that you'd see was working for him.
Oh yeah, the effects on the Phantom Soldiers are a bit different too. At least when they explode. I guess those had to be changed for the PS2 version. Alright! We have stopped all their so-called magic. Only their leader Zhang Zhao is left. Troops! Forward! Horse, what do you... Do you not understand what the whistle means? Frame rate is worse than the PS3. Yeah, everything is worse than the PS3 version. God, the frame rate. <laughs> there's too many, there's too many people here. One guy is confused that Shane Jail set his own main camp on fire. Ugh. Just chugs. The fire did not help. And I don't think that debt to Kong Rong ever gets brought up again after this. What do we have here? Uh, two defense ups. The big attack. There's a bunch of attack ups down here. Lead to the tome thing that I don't really want. Oh, ice fire, that's worthless. Attack doubled to near death and not down, that might be okay. Increase damage to items from your swift attack. Oh, that shit again. So, Taishi Chi has bonuses to, like, attacking siege weapons and stuff, which is so situational, it is not at all worth it. Guess I'll get the defense up. And then make some progress towards these attack ups over here. Try out an emulator. Well, I don't play emulation unless I have no other choice. Like PSP games, for example. In the wake of the Yellow Turbans rose a new threat, the tyrant Dong Zhuo, who plunged the world even deeper into chaos. Dong Zhuo, however, was betrayed and killed by his erstwhile servant Lu Bu, which resulted in open conflict between rival warlords, each vying for power. It was then that Tai Shi Tsi was invited by Liu Yong to stay in Jiangdong as his guest. However, Sun Se of Wu chose this instant to attack. It was Tai Shi Tsi's duty to defend Jiangdong against all threats, be they friend or foe. The enemy! An enemy force is coming here to Jiangdong! They are being led by Sun Tse! What? The son of the tiger? S somebody stop him at once! I, Tai Shi Tsi, will take up this task. <laughs> I never thought I'd have to face him in battle. I like that ooh from uh, Liu Yang there. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got a new map here. All these trusty allies here to help us.
the uh, don't lose the bases, defeat Lu Ming Huang Gai in 10 minutes, player maintains 30% life. Well, the last one's definitely not gonna happen. May not even manage to keep the bases, but we'll see. I love how Liu Yang is just always like, do something. Nothing specific, just something. You had to start with the arrows, didn't you? Just immediately walk into a room, be an asshole. Starting with low Rimbu just sucks. We knew you would come. You have our I'll never stop complaining about that because it'll never stop being annoying. Why should I throw away my life? This battle is lost. I'm out of here. Lord Chen Hong has left us? Are we all that remain? <laughs> the guy just leaves. Damn it, horse. There's so much to ask you to trample someone. Really don't want him setting this base on fire. Oh, you locked him in there with you. Okay. <laughs> this fucking door. They don't know what to do with it. They really fell apart when Chin Hong left. We were lost when Lord Chen Hong left us. From now on, we will fight at your side. There's no way we can beat Sun Se. I refuse to throw my life away for the likes of you, Yang. We've been abandoned! How will we survive now? And one of the bases have to defend is a watch post. Wow, Yan Bai Hu, whoever really fucked up Lu Ming. That was Yan Bai Hu over in the right that got killed by Huang Gai. I'm pretty sure he retreats too, but I think one guy just beat him to the punch. I had no idea the enemy would be so fast. I didn't sign on for this. You young, you can fend for yourself. Ah, but it still says the fleeing line. Whereas I use my tome to get Matt's Rimbu, and then a Matt's Rimbu item General just drops. Me one by one. What hope is left for me? I should see the rest I leave to you. I trust that you will bring honor to my name. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs> Liu Yang abandons himself. The troops and I are all that remain. Yet they still have the will to fight. That alone will be enough to propel us to victory. Man, listen to me. Together. I do like how unique this battle is. Not many battles have all your allies fuck off and just leave you in a couple bases. <laughs> 
the, the base soldiers defeated him. They defeated an officer. Holy shit. What badasses. Block. Exploded Joe you. I love how impaling the enemy with a grab isn't enough. They have to explode as well. I heard that someone managed to whip Joe you in battle. Wait to see this guy for myself. Well, it was more like pound him, but you know. Whatever kink you're into. All the red coming towards us. Sun <laughs> Quan just being an asshole. <laughs> just zero respect from Sun Quan. <laughs> Shang Shang. <laughs> she got one combo win. Oh, and she has lightning element. That's great. The fucking arrows are so deadly. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. Fortunately, I did manage to pound uh, the other two members of the Soon family, so after this, Taichi Tsi will have pounded the entire Soon family. At least all the ones that are still alive. Where is my horse? I really wish the horse wouldn't buck up whenever it hits an enemy officer. Or just even a lieutenant. He pulled back his officers and troops, but not his bases, so I still have to kill some guys to reach him. Got like 26 more KOs to get another 100 ESP, but eh, I don't care. Master Sunsei! Tai Shi Tsi, your strength surpasses my greatest expectations. I'm going to enjoy this. Come and face me. Very well. I will defeat you. Bringing an end to this battle. If I recall correctly, I don't think you can see that cutscene in the camp. Sure to give me everything you've got. 
Because, like, it still counts as an end stage cutscene, despite it being, like, pretty much unique to Taichi Tzu. So it's kind of like Taichi Tzu just gets an extra cutscene for his story mode. Ow! That hurt. You had to grab me, didn't you, dick? Just powering through everything. Oh god, buffing himself too. I'm just gonna back off for a second. Okay, sat out second handle, but you're not flinching to my attacks? Nah. That's pretty bullshit. Even if I can do that myself. Popular opinion, but I love Sunsei with the spear. Uh, I actually really like him with the spear as well. I think he works it pretty well. Especially in this game where he's wearing, like, full-on armor. Nice, managed to get the attack ups. And that's all they want from down that path. Flash, but no element. And it's a power weapon, so, yeah. I'll keep it, just in case, but... I think the weapon I have right now is actually doing okay with the Thunder Element. Master Sunsei, what are you? <laughs> I've been giving it some thought. I decided I could use a guy like you on my side. You know, I have been feeling the same way. My dream is for the banner of Wu to fly all over this land. With our strength, I am sure that we will not fail. <laughs> like how Sunsei literally glomps Taishi Tsi <laughs> from horseback. Having conquered Jiangdong, Sunsei moved to take the central plains without a moment's respite. However, the fearsome specter of Cao Cao stood in his way. Sunsei decided to seize Xia Pi where he would then be in position to strike Cao Cao's base of Shu Chang. Sure. Accompanying Sun Tse was his newfound companion Tai Shi Tsi. With a mutual trust between them, they resolved to fight together to realize the dream of Wu. To that end, they set out towards Xia Pi, home of the fearsome Lu Bu. Oh, hey, Xiao Kiao. I don't intend to stop with just Jiang Dong. Is this her only appearance in a cutscene? First Xia Pi, then with it as a base, we'll target Xu Chang. Yeah, the name of the little conqueror will be known by all. Everyone, I'm counting on you. Thank you. We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for you. It is due to your passion that we succeed. I only follow your example. 
If any try to stand in your way, I will crush them. And soon say just sort of winks at Taishitsi like, hey, uh, my wife isn't in this game, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of forgot Taishitsi had a sharp E battle. Uh, someone asking how far I am in Azure Gleam in the Fire Emblem game. Uh, at to the halfway point. I, I got to the part where, uh, the, the monster form of Edelgard appeared. Yeah, what are the targets? Are those different? Maintain 50% life. Enemy forces do not enter soon, say, his main camp. Once Shoppy... Shoppy Westgate and Shoppy Southgate within 8 minutes. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is just going to play out the same as Shoppy normally does, it's just we're on Sunsei's side for it. Or it may play out how Sunjian's version of this stage plays. So Sunjian and Sunsei have a version of uh, this stage. Link how is alive? Well, yeah, even in the regular timeline, he wouldn't be dead by now, anyways. He dies when Soon Quan is in charge. One guy almost died. means that Yuan Shao is alive. I mean, for right now, yeah, Guandu hasn't happened yet. Remember, the narrator said we're taking this place so we can attack Cao Cao. So it'd be before invasion of Xu Chang. Are you brave or a fool? Let us find 
And yeah, I guess this is gonna be more like soon uh soon Gian's version of this. Considering we're not doing a flood attack. I guess only Sao Tsao is the one smart enough to faint to do a flood attack. Or Guo GS specifically. Can't really say Sao Tso because Sao Tso's not even in this battle in Dynasty Warrior 6. It's basically a Shadow Dune battle. Actually jump down in the river here. Huh, I can. I noticed the stairs and I thought it was weird that they were still there. She'd see murder that man. Yuan Shu's forces are wearing Lu Bu colors. Like Yuan Shu just apparently became a Lu Bu fanboy. But unfortunately, he's not that devout. <laughs> Trust my allies to break the gate on their own. Let's go ahead and go attack. Looks like they're about to break through on both sides, anyways. Nice that there are some corporals around here. Anywhere. Our right, guard captain, that works too. Another fortress falls before my might. Come and face it. Thankfully, Al and his lieutenants are giving me a lot more trouble than they should have.
It's weird you, how you can tell they put a lot more effort into the, uh... The PS2 exclusive story modes than they did for the original game. Like, there's actually unique dialogue in them, and a bunch of unique stages as well. It really shouldn't have taken you, you guys this long to break through these gates. There's no one there to stop you. Like, they're not fighting anyone. I don't know what's taking them so long. Maybe the sieges don't really work right on PS2. If this was PS3, they would have definitely broken through by now. And the only reason I really want them to is because I think there might be some lines if they do. Ram the gate. I think I see the ram coming. Yep, that's it. That blue dot closest to the gate right now. Come on. You can do it. Got a smidgen of HP left. Maybe I can do it. I'll take credit for that. Oh, now they break through the south gate as well. Well then, I shall crush you myself. Are hitting Lu Bu through the gate. Oh, hello. You will make it worth my while. Actually, there's lines if I take over your main camp, so. Did they de-size red hair? Who just abandoned his own main camp? That's just like him. Very well then. I'll be happy to take it off his hands for him. Isolate the camp and destroy it. Yeah, they made red hair small in this, like it's the size of a regular horse. Why was that necessary? How did that save on space? I guess maybe Red Hair, like, had a unique model or something. So that was one less unique model they needed to render if they just made it, like, a regular horse with a pallet swap. And, uh, just in case, go ahead and save here. Completely forgot Soon Quan was here. I shall remember your face. Oh, and Lubu got to live, huh? Well bought, everyone. At this rate, the land will belong to Wu in no time. My duty is clear. I shall push forward. 
the negotiator general. Let's see, you can get some sad increases over there. And eh, that may be the best thing to aim for. The speed weapon would flash, but honestly, this is doing pretty well for me. I think the element and the other good skills in combination with Taishi Z having good stats is really saving him here. What is it with these weapon names? Like Wolf Slayer? Okay. Tiger Slayer? And then Apollyon. Alright. <laughs> Whatever that is. Okay, yeah, I'm using this now. Yeah. Sunsei emerged victorious at Xiapi. When the dust had settled, he saw that the bulk of Cao Cao's army was away from Xu Chang, engaged in battle with Yuan Chao. Sunsei could not let this chance pass him by. Once again, Sunsei led his army into the fires of war. Victory draws close. I need your strength more than ever. Upon hearing these words uttered by Sunsei, Tai Shi Tsi swore to destroy any who would interfere with his master's dreams. With this newfound resolve, Tai Shi Tsi took to the battlefield once more. into a fight. I hope our army can keep up. Master Sunse's dreams rest on this battle. Our men will not fall behind. With our strength, Xu Chang will fall before us. Now I see what Sunse saw in you. You are as passionate as he is. Chang lies before us, ripe for the taking. Everyone, lend me your strength. <laughs> the chat just going, no, Sunsei, don't. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's no surprise what's going to happen on this stage. Uh, Polyon is Greek for destroyer. Okay. But, but why? <laughs> why ruin the naming thing that was going on with the other two weapons for that? Unless it's something that specifically destroys wolves or tigers, maybe. Hello, Lucian, randomly showing up in this battle. This will probably be a pretty standard affair. Winter TA saying I'm their favorite YouTuber. I don't know why. I don't do anything. I just happen to record whatever I'm playing at the time. But thank you. And if you were watching from the beginning, I assume you mean the very beginning. Then, what was the first video I uploaded? I think it was a Ninja Gaiden 3 video. Where Genshin, uh, the boss Genshin glitched. And he just started to like, sort of dance around and I called it the Genshin Shuffle. 
And I just uploaded that. And I think the first Warriors videos I put up was, uh... Getting Lu Ming and the Yanchi's fifth weapon in Dynasty Warriors 8. Translation for Apollyon is kind of off. Okay. I'd have to look it up myself then. Kinda wish I had that skill that dealt more damage to items now. You know, it should really say objects. Ballistae are not items. At least with, like, the terrible draw distance and, like, the worse AI, it's a lot easier to take these things out. Because you weren't constantly being attacked by rock throwers or these club guys just swarming you. So, saving grace. Is no one piloting that ram? It's just moving on its own? Huh. Yeah, they removed the, the guys that, like, pushed the ram for some reason. Not sure why they did that. Maybe it was because it was an animation they didn't need to have in the game. And they, and they were probably just struggling to remove whatever they could from the game to fit everything on onto a single PS2 disc. Lufon, how did you get back here? What? What were you doing, bro? Nobody can stop you and me. Except, you know, someone with an arrow. Possibly, perhaps. What stage do I dislike the most in this game? Uh, Cheng Bon. That's just every Dynasty Warriors game, Cheng Bon. Which side both? Guess I'll go take these two watch posts. I don't know if that's a joke or not, Aristocrat, that you've been watching my videos since you were seven years old. If so, you're younger than I thought you were. I actually thought it, thought it'd be harder to take this. Ping Bon and Dinosaur Warriors 3 at sale on Ming Huo's side <laughs> isn't actually bad. Sure, yeah. When you make a completely different version of it, yeah, then it's fun. When it's essentially not Chang Bon. I do actually like 3 at Stream Legends. I'll probably stream that at some point just for fun. And only at Stream Legends. Fuck the rest of it. Another fortress falls before my 
I've played enough of regular Dynasty Warriors 3. Guess we'll go help Lu Xun over there on the left. The middle seems okay. Can't blame people for thinking this is a PSP game. Oh no, the PSP version looks worse. Because, you know, it's on PSP. Though, even the PSP version has extra content unique to it. Like, it has Ming Huo in it. It's just no story mode for him. And I believe Japanese only. Which, I don't know why they keep adding new stuff to worse versions of the game. They just released this stuff as DLC, they'd have made a ton of money from it. Which they realize later on and then abuse. call it a camp. This is just a full-on castle. Or a palace, really. Yeah, we're like halfway into it. Depending on what uh, you would constitute Shahadun's reinforcements as. There's a bunch of Japanese only Warriors games. Though a lot of them are just different variations of like a game we already have. Like Sengoku Muso Z, when we have Samurai Warriors 3. Ganging up in that one poor guy. Oh, well done. I'll have to try and keep I do still need to play uh, multi raid two at some point. The only Japanese only Warriors games I'd be interested to play would be ones that uh, didn't have any form of an English release. So, this is what you foresaw. Well done, my cousin. Well. With you and I fighting together, this will be an easy battle to win! Look at the mess they made! We fall for a bunch of cowards who attack an empty castle! You attack the Imperial Advisor. I assume you are prepared for the consequences. Like how Shahu Wan calls it an empty castle, like... Shouldn't you and all the other officers inside just don't count? We'll have to entrust that to Master Shaho. Another fortress falls before my Well, let's go deal with Shahadun. Now is the time to attack. 
everybody to battle. Now for some sport. All right, let's play some football. You may slander me all you like. However, I will not allow you to sully Master Sun Tse's good name. For some reason, everyone has, like, some sort of unique line with Xiao Dun or Xiao Yuan. Everyone that has a stage in Muso mode. Okay, hello, Shushu. You're not normally here. Ah, there's so many effects. <laughs> ah, the frames. Let's go fight Juju. He just showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> Presumably just because they brought the voice actor back for this. And they were like, why not make the stage a little different? Sure. Quickest way to reach him. I guess going through that base. Oh no, she was sitting on Sung Fuan. Eh, he kinda has it coming to him. Full health and you're complaining. Juju is lower health than you. What are you bitching about, Sing Kwan? took over the main camp. Chang Chang is so much faster than me. Ah, I didn't make it off in time.
Master soon say? I wanted to conquer the world with you. Sorry. Master soon say! Fall back to camp. We must begin the retreat! Will you simply give up on Shu Chang after we fought so hard? We can't afford to let Wu fall here! But... You know, I'm genuinely surprised. I thought for sure Soomsei would die to arrows, not die to... Three random peons that just sort of got close to him. <laughs> like, I guess they stabbed him, but like... How? He knew they were there, he was fighting them all. And like, three guys is not a difficult number for a warrior's character to beat out. <laughs> what an awkward-ass death scene. Sure, more damage to items, why not? Just in case I have to ever have to fight another ballista or something. Wu paid the ultimate price for victory, the life of Sun Tse. The loss of their leader threw the Wu ranks into confusion, and they were forced to withdraw from Xu Chang. Using this to their advantage, Wei recovered and again rose to attack Xu and Wu. During the Wei onslaught, Wu and Xu agreed to a joint attack on Wei. Sun Quan, the new leader of Wu, chose to attack Hei Fei. Although mired in depression over the death of Sun Tse, Tai Shi Tsi resolved to help Sun Quan and realize his friend's dreams. I guess we're just gonna gloss over TV. Get him go. Someone such as you could never understand what he's feeling. Say what? Hey, Tai Chi Tsi, you should save some of that for an actual fight. There is no need for concern. Even though Master Sun Sei is gone. My own will never die. All right, let's see what his alternate outfit looks like. The defeat Sauron, Choo Choo. Take that base, lower the bridge, defeat Zhang Liao within two minutes. I think Zhang Liao appears on the left. I always forget. What a time skip. Daichi C still can't get over it. You lose your lever and see how long it takes you to get over it. We must take Hefei and push back Wei's front lines. The slow, agonizing process of taking over a base with one Renbu. Okay. That was a new line from Lu Ming. That was his, uh, his new voice actor for this game. Which continued to be his Dynasty Warrior 7 and 8 voice. Another fortress falls before my 
my might. Let us advance together. I shall require your strength to carry out our plans. You believe your plans are a match for mine? I wonder if some of the lines like that one were just added to like the regular versions of the stage and aren't only in the Muso mode. I had to give him a defense up, didn't you? You say it's Matt Rimbo now. Oh, they all went to the right. Except you fun, you fun is cool. Hey, hang on, Gan Ning is here at the start. Isn't he supposed to ambush? Later. Huh. He's gonna show up then. Probably just some generics. You gotta really mash his triangle string, otherwise he'll sometimes stop when he gets to those, like, multi-hits. For some reason, those multi-hit attacks have, like, a lot less leeway. You guys finish taking over the space. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. There's that extra item damage at work. Made the drawbridge go down slightly quicker. Totally worth the skill upgrade. Young Liao is taking a while to show up. I was kind of curious just how Rockfall behaved, and it looks like the boulders just disappear. I don't think they follow any physics, I think they just like operate like arrows essentially, just bigger arrows. I'd have to see it used, like, on a slope, though, to know for sure. Oh, here he is.
and he spawned right next to me. Your skills are no match for mine. I will help Master at any cost. Let's see how Ow. I'd say that was within two minutes. They took over the base before defeating Sauron. Another corporal around here. I don't know where he disappeared to. The guard captain works too. Dadoon's just got a straight shot to Sun Quan. If he goes for him, he may go for the, for the castle. Mm, doesn't look like it. <laughs> so Ren took it back. I should see just pounding everyone he sees. Oh yeah, his alternate outfit is is awful, by the way. Like, not very good colors at all. Like yellowish orange and blue. I don't know what I like better, ice or lightning. Like, more damage from lightning is great, but when ice triggers on a lot of enemies, it just gives you a whole lot of protection. 
and free hits. Alright, let's maybe keep it this time. How was our morale still so low? We were doing pretty good, honestly. Just the left side got kind of fucked. You fun, come on. You almost got killed by a base. Didn't the Ming say reinforcements are going to show up? Like how that just hasn't happened. Okay, uh, good job winning on your own. Well fought, all. We have achieved victory. Kind of wanted to fight Xu Huang, but whatever. I shall push forward. Vince doubles when not down. It's whatever. I'll get this attack increase over here. There's really nothing good left for me to get, huh? Guess I'll just get more defense stats. It's, it's, this is technically better, but... Honestly, I just like the range from standard over skill. Everyone, you did well in resisting Wei's attack. Is he talking about the fearsome Zhang Liao? Give me a break. Now, we can make our move. And attack Xu Chang. No. We must bolster the defenses here. But... Brother did not know when to quit. Look what happened. Our first order of business is to strengthen our hold on Jiang Dong. With Cao Cao in the north and Liu Bei in the west. We need to strengthen Wu against all threats. Jin Kwon is determined not to die like a bitch like his brother did. During the battle between Wei and Wu, Liu Bei took the opportunity to seize Han Zhang and declare himself its king. Appalled by this turn of events, Sun Quan made a pact with Wei to take back the land that Liu Bei had stolen. As long as Wei and Xu existed, it would be impossible for Wu to achieve victory. The Wu that Sun Se fought so hard for was but a mere shadow of its former self. The hope for victory faded day by day. However, undeterred, Tai Shi Tsi marched towards Fan Castle with a sense of determination. God dang playing with Cast his knife. Aside your rage. Together, we will take back Jing and crush Shu. To bring peace to Wu, this will be our final battle. Really? Okay. Working together with Wei. So this is the path that Wu would take. But standing on the battlefield. All I must do is swing my weapon.
Uh, let's see, someone asked what my favorite Musou modes were. Uh, in this game, Machao and Lubu. Like, Machao's is kind of rough because, you know, it's on this version of the game only. But I still really like that one. I like what they do with the character there. So you take those bases, shoot pawns and withdraw. Bases inside, Funk Castle, do not fall. Uh, someone else asked what my favorite Dinosaur Wars game was. Uh, Dinosaur Wars 4. So much button mashing. My thumbs can only take so much. Taishiki just immediately with a pounding. Pounding everyone in sight. Oh, okay, we're just doing this now? Alright. Wait, he's starting right next to it. There's no way I can stop him in time. One Yu was essentially ordering ordering Guan Ping, like, hey, go out back. I'd essentially have had to have been spawn camping one ping to stop this from happening. That's the signal father spoke of. The time is now. Where did Guan Yu was going to be Taiji T's final boss? Someone he hasn't even seen yet. Well, I guess he saw him in the first stage. Yellow Turban Rebellion. Also kind of bullshit that elements don't trigger until you get the match Rembo. Oh yeah, the flooding in this is just, like, ankle-deep water. 
are now more waist deep. This is an unknown force. If those are the reinforcements I think they are, they shouldn't be unknown because they'd be Wu forces. We cannot afford to keep this up much longer. It's one guy, see me chill out. gonna break that pot to get Matt Smuso, but eh, it's not really worth it. I'm pretty sure that's an only one anyways. Yeah, Lushun. Oh yeah, Mi Fong and Fushi Rin just aren't here, are they? Huh. Like Sarin didn't say he's lying about recruiting them. And the water attack happened so quick, wouldn't have even had a chance to. it into submission sounds so wrong out of context. It sounds wrong in context. We must endure. The moment will present itself. Face me. I challenge you. Oh, you have come to reinforce me. Thank you for showing such resolve. It is kind of weird. He's not normally in this battle, is he? We have endured the worst. Now it is our turn to attack. Wow, look at our morale. The water attack really didn't deter us. Got about two minutes, two and a half minutes to take that base over on the left for one of the objectives. See if I can do it.
I wanted to make it inside in time. I got half my horse inside. It's a bit annoying your allies don't go for these bases required for this objective. So you always have to manually go into it. You can't just clear the way for them. There we go. Not that it matters, this is the last stage we're gonna play as him. Probably ever. Sorry I'm late. I'll be right there, brother. The enemy's got us on the run. Oh hey Xiao Hyun, what are you doing here? Are you ready to face me? And buffing the shit out of yourself, jeez. Not who I meant to grab, but whatever. Killed him anyways. This battle is gonna be a real big blow to shoe. The Weyan died, Xiao Yun is dead, Shang Fei is dead, Wan Yu's about to die. Wan Ping died, but really, who cares? He's adopted anyways. Oh, and Huang Zhong and Ma Chao are here. It's the five Tiger Generals. I actually don't want to kill Guan Yu, but he just, he won't fuck off. So he keeps getting hit by my attacks, aiming for other people. Come on, Macho, follow me out here. Someone else fight Guan Yu. There we go. The maximum amount of death possible. <laughs> Exploded Guan Yu. <laughs> Man, Liu Bei has nothing after this. He's got like... I guess he's got Zhuge Liang and Yue Ying. I think that's it. is over. From here on, working with Wei and Shu, Wu shall know prosperity. <laughs> it was our unity that won us this peace. All hail Wu! All hail Sun Quan!
I have repaid my debt to Master Sun Se. My place in Wu is no more. Farewell, my friends, for I must continue my journey. <laughs> what do you mean, continue your journey? It's it's over. <laughs> The sending is really a true master of strategy. Okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> Don't think you did anything particularly strategic, but sure. <laughs> Working with Shu. I mean, sure, I guess, since you essentially forced that to happen. You could have just as easily wiped them off the map. When it's just Liu Bei sitting there holding a grudge, the fact that you killed his two brothers and, like, all of his other friends. <laughs> just, just imagine Sun Quan giving that speech, except Liu Bei is next to him, and Sun Quan just has a gun pointed to his head. That's essentially how Shu is a part of this alliance. <laughs> What a weird final battle. I get that they go for like the you wants you or Wu you wants to unite everyone stick with that weird six, but this is a really awkward way to do it. Cause yeah, this just wouldn't happen killing Guan Yu and Jiang Fei. There's no way. Who's next? Taishit C? Uh, yes, I'm just gonna play Taishit C again. Now next will be, uh, I guess will be Yu Ying. And then Cell P, and then Ling Tong. And then I'll finally be done with Dynasty Warrior 6. Except after maybe doing a, uh, a Dynasty Warrior 6 Empires playthrough. All right, well, that's it for this stream. Uh, ten minutes earlier than I would like it to end, but oh well. I, I really don't want to play extra stages in this version of the game, so yeah, we're going to stop it here. And then uh, maybe sometime during the week? Ah, uh, no, I'm going to be busy this week. Next weekend, probably, will be when I stream again. Otherwise, I'll just keep uploading uh, Fire Emblem videos. The Fire Emblem Warriors game that came out. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Our goal is to take Shu Chang. Press forward and wipe out the enemy.